AI4 Skyhawk is a small and maneuverable multi-role strike aircraft operated by the Royal New Zealand Air Force. Although originally designed as a ground attack aircraft, it has proven to be very capable in other roles. This video presentation is about the Skyhawk's capability in air-to-air -air combat. This capability was recognized by the U.S. Navy, who selected the Skyhawk to act as the enemy aircraft at their famous Top Gun Fighter Pilot Training School. A comprehensive modernization of the navigation and attack systems aboard the RNZAF Skyhawks was carried out by the American company, Smith's Industries. At the end of this presentation is a Smith's Industries video about the system's modernization. This included a major redesign of the cockpit. At the front of the cockpit is the head-up display, which provides navigation and attack information to the pilot. This view through the head-up display can be recorded on videotape for later analysis. The system's modernization has given the RNZAF Skyhawks an air-to-air -air combat capability able to match F-16s or similar fighter aircraft. A square box tracking in the vicinity of the target aircraft indicates radar lock. Radar lock identifies the target to the nav attack system to accurately calculate targeting information. A large circle indicates the nav attack system is in air-to-air -air missile mode. The small diamond appearing near the aircraft indicates that the missile has locked onto the target. The system has two air-to-air -air gun modes. The small circle over the target requires only one second tracking for a confirmed kill. The second gun mode is more accurate and requires only half a second tracking for a kill. This mode uses a continuously computed impact line. The aim point is represented by the small circle in the middle of the line. What you are about to see are head-up display video pictures of real air combat exercises against the air forces of Thailand, Malaysia, Singapore and Australia. Go 
very fizzle onto the dark red by one now. air-to-surface strike aircraft. They are capable of delivering guided missiles, laser-guided bombs, rockets, and guns against a variety of marine and ground targets.
many countries of fighter aircraft they would like to replace with new state-of-the-art aircraft, but the cost is prohibitive. Their choice is to buy a small number of new fighters and retrofit existing aircraft with a limited weapons delivery system, leaving them far short of their real defense requirements. Now there is an alternative, a total update program for tactical fighter and attack aircraft, a complete modern avionic system for A-4 and F-5 aircraft, that will satisfy mission requirements well into the next century. The Smith Industries Navigation Attack System flying now. The Navigation Attack System was developed by Smith Industries in Grand Rapids, Michigan to completely modernize the Royal New Zealand Air Force A-4 fleet. The RNZAF needed a credible air capability to counter maritime threats. A thorough analysis of cost and aircraft capability by the RNZAF showed that purchasing new aircraft was not cost-effective. In analyzing the purchase of new aircraft, the RNZAF calculated that for the cost of purchasing one F-16 fighter, six A-4s could be modernized. In addition, they determined that the modernized A-4s in the defined maritime attack role could each provide 80 to 90 percent of the capability of an F-16. The real decision facing planners was the following. What is a more convincing defensive threat? One F-16 going against a maritime target or a coordinated attack of six A-4s? The question had only one answer. The existing fleet of A-4 Skyhawks would be modernized. In addition, the logistics support system for the A-4s was already in place for the basic airframe, including depot facilities for engines. By updating their A-4s, they were also able to minimize the transition training required to qualify pilots for the new aircraft. Modernization of the existing A-4 fleet provided better mission availability and effectiveness with a larger number of weapons on station. The new aircraft will be an effective deterrent well past the year 2000. The development time, including all hardware, software, and aircraft installation design, from contract award to first prototype flight, was 29 months. This modernization encompassed a completely new avionic suite, as well as a structural refurbishment to assure airframe integrity throughout the expected life of the aircraft. A second customer has ordered the navigation attack system, and that system will be flying 19 months after contract award. Two prototype aircraft were modified jointly by Smith Industries and the RNZAF in New Zealand. Since some of the aircraft are A4Gs, part of the mod design was to make the fleet homogenous in the A4K configuration. To achieve that, all wiring was removed and completely new wiring harnesses were designed and developed. The Smith Industries Navigation Attack System was designed by pilots for pilots. The system controls aircraft functions using high-speed processes to minimize crew workload. The navigation attack system uses a mill standard 1553 data bus to tie the subsystems together, providing an integrated system that is responsive to crew needs and provides for future growth. The core of the navigation attack system is the computer interface unit and the display processor developed by Smith Industries. The computer interface unit displays head-up information, controls the various sensors, radios, hands-on throttle and stick control, and the armament system. The Smith Industries display processor, which controls information displayed on the head-down displays, provides complete aircraft status information, and control of the peripheral systems is always immediately available to the pilot. The sensors include the Westinghouse APG 66NZ radar, a derivative of the F-16 radar, tailored for the A-4 and its maritime role. The Litton LN-93 ring laser gyro provides inertial navigation, and the Air Research Tucson Division Digital Air Data Computer provides all air data. All sensors communicate with the computer interface unit via the new standard 1553 bus. The TACAN DOR ILS and ARC 182 UHF DHF radios are also managed by the computer interface unit, providing quick and easy control of these in all phases of flight. The displays include two head down displays in each cockpit and the head up display. 
The head-down displays can display system status information, radar, Maverick AGM-65 video, or display the cockpit TV sensor video in the aft cockpit. The armament subsystem includes a base 10 defense system sidewinder control system and a limited storage management capability. Full integration with the Sidewinder AIM-9L and Maverick AGM-65 missiles has been fully demonstrated in flight tests and verified that minimal time is required from target acquisition until weapon launch, one of the key design goals of the system. All of these various subsystems are controlled directly by the pilot via the hands-on throttle and stick operation, known as POTAS operation. The head-down display software-defined keys, or the HUD, up front control. In critical phases of flight, all control of the navigation attack system is through the HOTAS. The Smith Industries navigation attack system is sophisticated, yet its operation is user-friendly and simple, eliminating conflicting information, thus allowing the pilot to do his primary task, delivering weapons at the intended target. This system was designed with the operational pilot in mind. The APG-66NZ radar has been integrated with the navigation attack system to provide full automated operation or can be independently operated with HOTAS. The head-up display format is based on the Royal Air Force Fast Jet HUD format and evolved through the close cooperation of the RNZAF pilots and Smith Industries engineers. The HUD symbology utilizes both digital and analog information to give the pilot the feedback needed for complete mission effectiveness. Flight information is displayed to minimize eye scan time, provide maximum useful information, and still maintain visible area for target acquisition. Both the speed and altitude indicators provide digital readout of information, as well as an analog indication of rate and rate direction. Commanded airspeed to reach a desired time of arrival at a selected waypoint is also displayed. A scratch pad area is provided for additional information that need not always be displayed. Eight windows are also included for displaying information, such as bearing and distance to the next waypoint, aircraft mode, wind velocity and direction, and weapons station selected. From the ease of flight and mission planning, the simplicity of the uploading of this information to the execution of the mission, the pilot flies the aircraft with a navigation attack system responding to his needs. Complete mission and flight planning is accomplished on the Smith Industries Mission Data Ground Terminal. The midget is used to completely plan the flight and mission. With the Smith Industries Navigation Attack System, there is no longer a need to use flight manuals and a myriad of charts to calculate pull-up weights expected landing weight, drag indices, fuel usage, and flight times. That tedious process is handled by the midget in a fraction of the time that it takes to perform manually. Radio frequencies are also included in the flight plan. Weapons are added to the aircraft graphically by using a mouse. Instantaneous checks are made by the midget to assure weapon and rack compatibility. Waypoints may be selected from an online database or flight maps may be used for directly planning the flight, using the digitizer to pick the route, and letting the midget store the latitude and longitude of each waypoint. Flight cards are generated from the system database, and data is stored on the data transfer module. This data includes all of the information generated previously, including waypoints, desired time of arrival, radio frequencies, nav aid frequencies, and weapons stores. Upon system turn-on, the information stored on the data transfer module is loaded into the aircraft. Uploading of information takes seconds, compared to approximately 30 minutes of keystroking required with conventional systems. The data has been prepared in the crew room instead of on the flight line, meaning that there is less likely to be an error in the data, and the pilot is fresh to perform his mission, while other systems are being uploaded. The navigation attack system is a fully integrated system, extracting the maximum potential while minimizing crew workload. The modernized A4 cockpit with its wide field of view HUD, two head-down displays, and full HOTAS controls focuses the pilot's attention to a head-up attitude, 
and provides all information the pilot needs to fly his mission and control his aircraft. Ergonomic design and integration of the system and controls provide pilots with the true HOTAS capability, heretofore unavailable in a modernized or retrofit weapon delivery system. RNZAF operations require low-level ingress and egress. At 50 feet above the deck, pilots need to have full system control available in a full heads-up and HOTAS mode. Having to look down during critical phases of flight places the mission and the pilot in jeopardy. The pilot can fly an entire mission, controlling the aircraft and all weapon delivery functions using only HOTAS controls and the upfront controller. True heads-up operation. Integration of weapon delivery, stores management, communication and navigation radio, sensors and weapons achieves maximum performance without pilot work overload. Precise navigation with the Ring Laser Gyro Inertial Navigation Unit provides fast response and high reliability. Navigation is not limited to inertial navigation. VORILS approaches are simplified through the clear display of localizer and glide slope symbology displays on the HUD. Complete nav aid and offset nav aid navigation modes are also an inherent part of the navigation attack system. Frequency selection for these navigation radios is performed via the upfront controller. The navigation attack system has three modes of operation. Navigation, air-to-surface weapon delivery, and air-to-air -air weapon delivery. Transition from navigation to either of the weapon delivery modes is accomplished through the master mode switch located on the throttle. While in either of these modes, depressing the program change switch, also located on the throttle, changes the program selected. In air to surface, four pre-selected programs are available, uploaded through the data transfer module or as changed by the pilot in flight. After transitioning to air to surface, the navigation attack system places the radar in air to ground ranging. HUD symbology changes to reflect the mode selected and the head down display displays the selected air to surface program. The navigation attack system standard modes include continuously computed impact point, dive toss, maritime toss, and planned toss. When air to air is selected, the navigation attack system enters the missile mode. The radar is placed in air-to-air -air search. The HUD symbology is changed, providing greater visibility in the probable target acquisition area. And the head-down display provides additional information to the pilot. When the target is acquired, the target designation box is displayed in the HUD, and the indications are provided on the radar display. In addition, the AIM-9 Sidewinder missiles are slewed to the target. When missile lock-on occurs, the missile can be fired. All the pilot has to do is to switch to air to air and depress the trigger. True HOTAS operation. If guns are required, depressing the program change switch places the navigation attack system into one of two gun modes. CCIL initially available, with LCOS also selectable. Switching the program chain switch to NAV then reverts to the destination previously selected. A complete modern avionic system for A4s and F5. For the price of one new fighter, you can have six today ready modernized aircraft from the world's foremost proven avionic systems integrator. Smith Industries, the logical choice since 1850.